Now you just shut your mouth for one minute and let me say something, right? You are a disaster. You're smug and you're arrogant and you're cocky. You've got terrible taste in music and you dance worse than Paddy and that's saying something. But I've got nothing to figure out, okay? I know you. I know exactly what I'm getting myself into. And you've tried so hard for me, for the people that you love, and not everybody sees that, but I do. You got me to talk about Gordon. And then you listened to me. And then you got me through the impossible. Liv, Liv, my little sister, you found her. You found my little sister, you. And even though she drove you nuts and she reported you to the police, you took her in as if she was your own. You saved my life. You got me out of that car, in that water, and you saved my life. And then you, you planned this mental wedding. You built us a home, and you got me out of prison early. And then you told me the truth about Rebecca instead of trying to hide it. And then you stepped up for your son, and you fought for him. And you loved him, and you loved me. You loved me like nobody ever has before. So please, Robert, will you? Will you just come home with me? And let me help you this time. Well, go on, you can talk. I'm actually a really good dancer. <laughs> of course, I'll come home with you. I love you so much. <laughs> Song. We do, we don't have a song. Yeah, we do. It's, do you want to hear dumps again? We definitely don't have a song. <laughs> I've missed you, Mr. Sugden. <laughs> Mr. Dingle. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. To make you 